He that was dead, verse 44, came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. And Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Hallelujah. So he was sick, and he died. He was rotting, and he was stinking. But Jesus raised him up in that condition. He didn't come out stinking. He didn't come out rotten. He didn't come out with a sickness. He came out whole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Do you see that? Look over at John 12. And in verse 9, Much of the Jews therefore knew that he was there, and they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. You see? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, that's pretty interesting. You know, this gentleman that was raised at the Reinhardt Bonkey meeting, I wouldn't mind seeing him. I wouldn't mind asking him a few questions. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, this resurrection power is a witness. It's a witness to the glory of God, the God you serve, that He's greater than everything, including death. He is Lord. Oh, hallelujah. He's Lord. And when He does something, He does it right. He's the author of life. Death and all that works death has to bow the knee to yeah, the name of yeah, Jesus. Yeah. It's not just in, in the Gospels that you see this. I would bring your um, attention to the Shunammite woman. Do you remember her? In 2 Kings 4, 18-37, you can read it if you want. I don't think we really have time to do it. but uh, Just briefly, you remember the Shunammite woman and her son said, my head, my head, and died. Now, I don't know, but I would probably suppose that that was an aneurysm where he had a headache so bad that he, he killed him. I mean, he could have been a multi multitude of things, I reckon. I'm not a doctor. Maybe Eileen might know better than me on that. But anyway, something in his head killed him. It was hurting, and it killed him. He died. And so this little Shunammite woman sent for Elisha. He said, everything's going to be fine. And so she sent for Elisha and he said to her, is everything okay? She said, all is well. Well, it wasn't well. Her son was dead on the bed back at home. But she knew by faith right. that all is well. And so what does he do? He goes back there, he lays on the young man, spreads out over him, and raises him up. And whatever killed him, whether it be an aneurysm or whatever it was, when Jesus, through this uh, Elisha, through the prophet, raised him up, he was whole. Do you see that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the reason I tell you this is because he says that you, Paul prays that you might have a revelation of this, that you might know him in Philippians and in Ephesians, that I might know him, the power of his resurrection, and that I might have this wisdom, a spirit of wisdom and knowledge in the revelation of him, in the exceeding greatness of his power that's at work toward us. You and I, today. It's for us. Look at 1 Peter, chapter 1. 1 Peter. 1 Peter, chapter 1. Verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy... Say mercy. Mercy. Aren't you glad? 
you glad God is a merciful God? Have begotten us again unto a lively hope. How? By the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Do you see that? You have been begotten again, born again. Hallelujah. From a merciful God unto a lively hope. Not a dead hope. A hope that's alive. By the resurrection. The resurrection is at the heart of your salvation. If you do not believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you're not saved. It's that simple. There are certain key doctrinal issues that you must believe. And that's one of them. That he physically, actually died, dead, and God brought him back to life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Romans 10, look in Romans 10. Romans 10, verse 9, if you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God hath, hath, hath raised him from the dead. You'll be saved. For with your heart you believe to righteousness, being right. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. Praise the Lord. 